An endless circle in the shadows, that's the life of an undeclared worker. It can seem harmless, working on the side at a local bar, small jobs for cash under the table, or extra construction work off the books, but many people work full-time undeclared. Economists estimate that about 15% of Europe's economy is shadow economy. Call it undeclared, the black, the grey, the underground, or the shadow economy, the principle is the same. Undeclared work can be described as any paid activities that are lawful as regards their nature but not declared to the public authorities. In times of financial hardship and high unemployment, many Europeans see working undeclared as the only viable short-term option for making ends meet. But there are implications that go beyond euros and cents. For workers, undeclared work has negative consequences for job security, access to pensions, unemployment benefits, healthcare and the right to decent working conditions. Opportunities to improve skills and find a formal job are also slim. Employers who do not declare their workers create unfair competition. They can cut their expenses by as much as 50% because they aren't paying taxes like the rest. Governments end up missing out on tax and social security contributions and are unable to finance public services. Education, healthcare and community services, pensions and much more take the hit for this. Even though the scope and impact vary substantially between EU countries, undeclared work is everybody's problem. A European platform brings together professionals already tackling undeclared work in their own countries. Experts from Labour Inspectorate, Social Security, Tax and Migration Authorities and Social Partners share information and best practices. Joint trainings, inspections and staff exchanges are also on the agenda. The result? All companies play fair, governments improve services and undeclared workers emerge from the shadows.